So here are some older boxes of ammo, whether it's rifle, pistol, or shotgun from my dad's that I just wanted to show you and give you a closer look at them. Some of these I've never seen before. I, I have heard of a couple of them. So I'm gonna give you a closer look at each box and show you what they are. All right, this first one will be the Mohawk by Remington. It's for the dove and quail. It's the shotgun shells. And it's for a 20 gauge, and it's the two and three quarter inch. Uh, the next one, this one's going to be for the 22 long rifle, extra range, the rim fire. This is Sears. It's uh, Ted Williams. Uh, the next one we will go to is the Winchester. It says all new plastic. It's a Mark V. It's Ranger. I'm not sure when these came out. Uh, the next one, I've never heard of this uh, company before. I looked online to try to find some information. I just found uh, some sites that was having an auction that had some of this up for sale. So I really couldn't find out where they were located at or when this was made. So I'm going to show this one to you. And it's for the 44 mag, it's the 240 grain jacketed hollow points. All right, the next one we'll go to is Peter's. And you got the DuPont logo there. And this one is for a 41 Magnum. And I have a box of Peters for uh, my 38 Special at home. All right, the next one, <clears throat> this is for bullets. It's Spear. And it's a 303 caliber. And the box has the reinforcing metal corners on it. Let's see, open this up. And so there's the bullets there. Next, we'll go up to this Remington 32 Smith & Wesson, 88 grain lead bullet. Also has the DuPont logo there. All right, so go back to some shotgun shells. This is a Western 
Super X. It's a 16 gauge, two and nine sixteenth in length. All right, go to another one for shotgun. This is a Remington Sure Shot plastic. It's with the piston power. It's a 16 gauge, two and three quarters. Looks like my dad paid $2.85 for them. And next we'll go up to some more bullets. <clears throat> this is Nosler for a 30 cal, uh, 308, 165 grain. Again, this box has the reinforced metal corners on it. And we'll open this one up. And there's what's in there. All right, we'll go over here to some 38 Special. Again, Western X. And then we'll go to this, some Ultra Max. It's for single action, double action there. It's for a 4440. Next up to some shotgun shells again. Revelation. It's a 410. And this was sold by Western Auto Stores and Associates. And I do have a revelation made shotgun so he paid two dollars and 65 cents for these and then this says products they're out of kansas city missouri where the headquarters of western auto was uh, again, here we're going to go to some shotgun shells. It's game load, Remingtons. And I don't know how old this is because I've never really bought a lot of shotgun, you know, or for um, bird hunting. It's a 20 gauge, two and three quarters. And then the last box up here is for Hornaday bullets. Um, my dad bought that out of Raytown, Missouri. I don't even think they're still in business because I can't say I've heard of them. Again, the box has the reinforcing metal corners. And 
and a 6.5 maybe that's a 25 caliber maybe I'm not quite sure See if I can open this up. There you are. That's what's in this one. So I just thought overall this would be an interesting little video to show you different uh, boxes of different bullets, calibers, and shotgun shells that my dad has had for years. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope it was interesting.